Alright, what's going on guys, welcome back to the channel, today I decided, you know, it's a rainy day, I can't service my machines, what better thing to do than tell you guys, my lovely viewers, how I purchased my vending machine route, and all the details behind finding the route, me purchasing the route, me filling up the machines and everything like that. I know a lot of you guys have been curious about that. So here it is. First I feel like I should give a little bit of background information. If you guys are new to my channel and you go pretty far back to probably a couple months ago you could see that I was in the bulk vending machine business. I had purchased about 17 bulk candy machines from this guy and I paid about $1,200 I think it was for those those metal triple heads really good machines and I managed to place about eight of those uh, and honestly I wasn't really like going out and placing them like I should have but I placed about eight of those they were making me about $200 a month I loved the bulk vending machine business I loved the idea of vending and everything like that what happened was as I was running those my girlfriend's stepmom who works at a school she heard that i was in the bulk vending business she heard that i was kind of in the vending business she told me that the snack machine at their school wasn't being filled up and she asked me would you be interested in you know filling up our snack machine just that one snack machine in the school and i was like yeah for sure like if you can get the information or whatever for me to contact the guy yeah, I'm, I'm so down. I want to. I want to. It's already on location. It's a snack machine. It's bigger stuff, bigger money. I'll be pulling out ones instead of quarters. You know, it's, it's a little bit of an increase. I was like, yeah, sure. She went and talked to the secretary of the school, got the guy's information. She passed the information to me, and then later on that same day, I texted him, "Hey, I just got your information from um, so and so at so and so school." I know they said that you're not filling up the snack machine and it's been like months probably like six to eight months since it's been filled I was like do you are you willing to sell this one snack machine and he hit me back and he was like yeah not only do I want to sell you that one snack machine but I've got like 30 to 40 other snack machines in schools and I've also got like another 20 in storage do you want to just buy all those and I was like, at first I was like, that's so, like, I don't even know what the number is going to be. I don't have any money. At this time, I'm, I mean, it was a couple months ago. I'm 19. I am in the bulk machine business. I'm working a nine to five. I don't have a whole lot of money. I think at that time I probably had like maybe $4,000 like to my name. Got to talking back and forth. And this, this span that we're talking like over text and talk is like two months like it's kind of hard guy to communicate with because he's really busy which is totally understandable but it just took a lot of time to actually get everything settled initially he said thirty five thousand dollars for everything and now i was like all right thirty five thousand dollars how can i come up with thirty five thousand dollars so I was thinking and thinking and thinking. I was going to banks. I was trying to get loans. As you guys know, I'm pretty young and I didn't I don't really have any collateral. I don't really have anything really to offer the bank. So, of course, I didn't get any loans from any banks. And also the process takes a pretty long time to actually get a loan. At least from the ones that I went to. So getting a loan was out of the picture, then I was like, okay, maybe, um, I know people say not to do this, but maybe I can go to a hard money lender, which if you guys don't know what that is, they lend you money. You get, you, you share them your business plan, your business proposal. If they like it, 
they lend you the money, but they have super high interest rates. Like if you want to go to a hard money lender, like it's 10% up, like 10 to 20%. Like they want a ridiculous amount. I didn't actually message any hard money lenders, but I was going to. So then some new information came out at that time. This is about a month in after I'm talking to him. And then he messaged me and he says that he sold some of the machines. To, that were in another uh, school district. So I was like, okay. Uh, so he sold some of the machines. So I was like, all right, maybe, uh, you know, what's the new price? He said 30,000. It's like 30,000. There's 35 machines left. I said, could you do like 25,000? And he agreed on 25,000. Still, I'm in the same spot, but with just less money. I was like, all right. 25000 is still a lot of money that I do not have. At this point, I'm like, I have to find something. I'm sick of driving an hour to work and an hour back every single day. I've only got $4,000 in my account from doing that, and it's miserable. I absolutely hate it. So I was, I was pretty desperate. Then I finally, I was just straight up with them. This is about... It's probably about in August, so right when school's starting, I was like, look, I've tried getting loans. I can't because my age and all this. I've tried base. I've tried everything that I can do to pay you outright cash. The only way I can do this is if you're able to do owner finance and I can put like $4,000 down. So that was a risky text. I was like the big one, you know, it's where you're like, waiting to get left on red like when you send that risky text come on you guys know what i'm talking about if you're like texting a girl or something you send that risky text come on i'm waiting it's probably like a couple hours and then he hits me back he, he agrees he said all right we can do owner finance and at that time i'm like like i'm already celebrating like super hyped twenty five thousand dollars is how much all the machines are that came with 35 machines on location and about another 20 in storage. I'm pretty pumped up about that. Agreed on $4,000 as a down payment, and then $750 every month after that. It's like, all right, that works for me. And that was, of course, after it already crunched the numbers, make sure that it cash flows, that I'll be able to pay the 750 and still have money for me after that. Then what I did was, since I, I only had $4,000 in my account, that was $4,000 all I had. Then you got to take into account, you know, it's going to be like $2,000 to fill up all these machines. I went to family friends and asked for loans and I got two loans. I got a loan for $2,000 to pay for the product and I got a loan for $1,000 from my lovely girlfriend. And just like that, down payment was paid. I've got money to fill up the machines and once I do fill up the machines just based off the tax records that I looked at that he gave me and all this other stuff everything was falling into place everything's mine everything's set and now it's just up to me to go and fill up all the machines and I know that probably doesn't sound like a whole lot when I just told you guys right now but the process was like two to three months so once I actually bought the machines, then I had to go and make sure that it was okay with all of the schools that he was in if I could keep the machines there. I had to actually have a meeting with one of the higher up people of the whole ISD over a couple a couple things that, just some things that I could do and I couldn't do. Just making sure that all the schools were still okay with me having the machine there. And if any of them wanted it out, then I'd have to take it out. And I said, perfect, no problem. Then I started going to each individual school and asking, hey, I'm, you know, I'm the new owner of this snack machine back here. I know it hasn't been filled up in a really long time. Would you like me to start filling it up? I'm the new guy. And 90% of the people were like, yeah, for sure. We're so happy to have a snack machine back. And then that was it with that. And then the other 10%, like a couple of them were on the fence. They took a little bit of time to get back with me. And then a couple of them just flat out said, no, we don't want it anymore. Take it out. 
And of course, I had to go take it out. That day of me actually moving the machines was a whole nother story for another day. It was an absolutely crazy day. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much, much the story of me actually purchasing the machines and getting everything in order. If you guys want to hear the story of me moving the machines out and stuff like that, then drop a drop a like, drop a comment. And I think I might be even doing a podcast, a live podcast with Forever Self-Employed on his podcast channel. And I think we're going to be talking about that. So stay tuned for that. That's going to happen this week sometime. Other than that, if you guys have any other questions, drop them down in the comment box. I respond to everybody. If I miss something, like I said, drop a comment and I'll answer it. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown. And... See you guys in the next one. Peace.